Okay, game number one underway of Grand Finals. BOTV Vagabond going up against Andy Fight. Punk. Winner of this takes it all. Okay, ninth view reversal from Ambu Punk. Get him with the leg, so he puts it to the corner, gets it back from Nice command grab from Vagabond. Ooh, good confinement to the EX Slash. Okay, another throw from Amble. And Vagabond wakes up with it. And Vagabond is not afraid to throw out the DPs. He does not care. Round two. Point. Good confirm from Vagabond. Gets a confirm into the EX stomp. Nice jump in from Vagabond, but he's not close enough to confirm. But he is going to get this confirm. Okay, Vagabond is playing patient. Punk didn't confirm that, so he didn't pop the V-Trigger. Wow, <laughs> and nice anti-air from Vagabond. Okay, catches him out of the air with the V-Skill. Oh, he gets the cancel, and this is gonna kill. And VOTP Vagabond takes game number one over Ample Punk. Looks like he's warmed up for this, and he, he has the answers now. Nikali wins. All right, so let's see if Ambu Punk can make some of that magic comeback. Now, I do believe the Vagabond won the first game and the last set as well. I might Round be wrong. One. The score was 3-1. Right. Let's see if Ambu is ready to get adjusted. Nice work, bro. Oh, okay, nice cross up to Vagabond. Avoid that stun situation. Okay, we're going for the meaty stomp setup. Oh, he's just out of range to punish that. Nice edit air from Punk. Gets it, and this might kill. Oh no, he drops the combo, but picks it back up. With the counter hit, caught back on press to something, and he takes the round. Round two. Point. Oh, nice confirm off this two jabs. Oh, he crosses his up. Oh, he crosses the under, should I say, but nice block to back up on, but it's not stopping Punk whatsoever. Another counter hit, and he's gonna take him all the way to the corner. Probably gonna go for a reset, and he does. And he's gonna close this out, and Punk, with the answer, takes game number two over VOTV Vagabond. Amazing job. And Punk is looking, looking hard to take wins. this event tonight. Yeah, it's, it's, it's terror dealing with the neutral of Karen. But what I've also noticed is Vagabond is pressing a lot of buttons because every time he gets hit, he's eating counter hits. So I think Round he has to one. be a little bit more patient defensively, Four. not hoard his V gate for V trigger, be willing to use it for V reversal to get himself out of some of these situations because he's just eating it. Nice cross up from back of behind. Playing the front. Okay, interrupts that. Oh, gets the heavy jump on the jump pierce. Oh, wow. Wow, he got the whip punch. Oh, he woke up with it. Oh, wow, Punk messed up the setup. No, and, okay, this, this is gonna kill. And just like that, one mistake, look how much damage that took. Round two, point. Uncharacteristic DP, you don't see Punk wake up with it that much. A nice block on the overhead. Oh, he tries to answer Harry, he eats the full jump in. And kind of 
jump here is so good. Oh, nice whip punish on that crouch roundhouse. Okay. Oh, and he interrupts it with a DP. Oh, this is gonna hurt. And Punk doesn't use a critical art to shut. Oh, nice punish, and this is gonna be a good kill. And BOTB Vagabond, one game away from resetting this bracket. Nicole is up 2 1 over a Amble Punk in the first set. Round one. Fight! TV skills. Out of range for the punish. He can punch with his crouch short. That's about all he can get, especially without meter. Okay, and Punk looking for a, it almost looks like Punk is looking for a way to get in and Vagabond is having an amazing neutral round right now. Okay, nice stand strong. Gets the forward throw. Gets the anti air DP. Nice forward throw. Using, he's using that size more a lot to build up that V-Gage. Uh, he gets a counter hit. Ooh, and the Stan Roundhouse checks her in the chest. Round two. Fight. Okay, nice back throw from the OTP Vagabond. Oh, Stan Fierce Crush counter cancels into the slash. Oh wow, good job on the overhead right there. And he's just, you know, he's just pressing all of our buttons. Gets the set up. Nice back dash from Punk. He's expecting it. Let's see if he can mount a comeback this round. Another fourth throw. Oh, he went for it, and Vagabond did not bite. And Vagabond. Resets the bracket. Nikali wins. On Ambu Punk knocking him into loser's bracket. Good stuff from BOTB Vagabond. He just might pull this out. So what that does, that that basically knocks Punk into loser's bracket. So it resets it. And so this is the last set of the tournament for Grand Finals. The winner of this set takes the entire tournament. It's go time. Vagabond putting in work. Good stuff. Shout out to everybody for staying tuned. We appreciate it. We have reset bracket. This might be the first. Yeah, this is definitely. Yeah, I mean, there's only two events, but this is the first reset of the season. I believe the only other time we saw a reset situation was Alucard versus. Um, I don't forget his name. The Ryu player, basically the Daigo of America, old school player. God, I, forget, I can't believe I'm forgetting his name. You guys know who I'm talking about. Third strike, guys. Y'all know who he is. Played, uh... Okay. It's late. We'll figure it out later. But yeah, so this is Grand Finals. Both players are losing bracket. The winner of this set takes the entire Round tournament. B.O.T. Vagabond going up against Ambu Punk. Is, Ambu gonna, is Punk gonna fall short again? Or is he gonna close this out? Okay, nice punish from Vagabond. Okay, nice anti air. Use the meter to get the better, the more damage. Okay, he isn't going to be able to confirm more off of that. Oh, he actually got the crowd forward. Oh, wow. And he just keeps pressuring. And he takes the round. Back of bomb was getting a little bit impatient, pressing buttons on his wake up. Round two. During pressure. Fight. Nice. 
Nice, nice anti air from Vagabond. He's going on point with his anti air hand. If he drops that, it's going to be punished. A lot of drops from both players right now. He's going to get the DP. Okay, Wild Stepper gets the grab. Oh, he actually could have canceled that and possibly taken the round. Gets into the fourth row. Now he can chip right now. Vagabond has to be aware of that. And he gets the chip. And Andrew Punk takes game number one of Losers Bracket Grand Final. Cotting wins. Good stuff. Good awareness. He made sure to use the, sh the big button, the heavy button, stand fierce into the shoulder on block, cancel into critical arc for the chip. Round one. Fight. Okay, nice punish on that. That's because it was too close. Well, I believe it is 1-1, one, one, isn't it? Or is it 0-1? Oh, Okay, nice forward throw from Punk. Uh, Vagabond went to another DP. Cancel the V-Trigger. Another throw tech. Oh, okay, good shit. I mean, I have to be careful. Oh my god, what a back dash. Oh, when he dashes in front just to get the counter hit. Oh, he actually checks him with the stand short and goes for the overhead. Round two. Fight. Oh, and a raw jump in. Now, Punk has the meter to anti-air. He's going to have to start relying on that. Because that jump fierce from the college is too good. It reminds me of jump fierce from Sakura in Street Fighter 4. Back before I got nerfed. Nice command grab from back of Nice anti-air. And cancels it in a critical arc. And just jabs him out. He's like, I know you're gonna throw. A lot of the times, what was happening is during those situations after the V trigger pop on Black Sun, Punk would just walk up and throw him. The Vagabond wasn't having this time. And we're all tied up 1 1. These two are going the distance. And again, this is Grand Finals. The winner of this takes home the $100 in cold hard cash. Round 1. Fight! Okay, both players really trying to put each other out of neutral. He just goes for the shoulder and actually connects. And Vagabond can pre confirm it from that crouch strong. Oh, and he does it again with the sand fierce. Okay. Oh, this is gonna hurt. They tried to go for a setup right there and didn't get it. And he activates. Oh wow, he kind of delayed it a little bit. He delayed the crowd strong ever so slightly and gets the counter hit and takes the round. And Vagabond needs to be a little bit careful defensively. up with it and gets the sweep afterwards and he wakes up with the DC again. Okay, stand jab reset into the command grab. Okay, he tries to anti-air with a normal. It's rough to anti-air in the crown with a normal. Oh, but he gets the stand roundhouse, goes for the reset. And Zagma actually gets the punish for dropping it, but he's gonna get this cancel in the critical arc. This is gonna kill? Yes, it is. Yeah, but Punk does have a lot of resources going into this last uh, into this last round of game three. Final round. Fight. Okay, nice stand, Chris, into the dash. 
Another anti air punk definitely has to stop jumping so much. He's giving away a lot of free damage. Nice whip punish. Okay, and again, he tries to anti air, he needs a dive kick. Another fourth throw from Punk. Oh, he cancels. Oh, and he just walks up and throws this time. Goes for the overhead. Oh my god. It, everyone gets hit by it the first time. Every single player gets hit by it the first time. Every it, it still happens. And Punk, that is the that is literally a still. Win. That is literally a steal. Every single player gets hit by it the first time. I don't care who. I've seen it happen to everybody. They always get hit by it the first time. And I can't explain why. Round one. Fight. All right. And Punk is now on the match point. I hope Vagabond isn't mentally crushed by that. He, he, that was his. Punk with a good counter hit confirmed. Another fourth throw. Oh, he actually gets the gets the uh Beatrix cancel. Ooh, and Vagabond delayed the DP this time, catching the shimmy and throw. Okay, nice record for Punk. Nice block. And he gets the kill. Round two. Fight. Okay. Punk gets a back throw. Oh, Vagabond just lets out two roundhouses back to back. And he's just catching him with straight hits. Okay, Punk finally uses the viewer versus the deal with the pressure. Use it again. And Vagabond wastes another DP. Ambush. Oh my god. Gets is gonna go for the DX one. This isn't gonna kill. He's one hit away. It goes for the fuzzy guard. And VOTB Vagabond takes game number four. And we are all tied up, ladies and gentlemen. This is the last game of the night. The winner of this takes the tournament and the hundred dollars and will be crowned the champion of episode two for PXG Online Championships. Round one. Fight. Okay. Uh oh, nice block from Punk. And Punk is looking poised to take this round. Okay, nice board throw. Nice tech on that throw. Okay, use the view reversal to get out of the pressure. And Punk is now on match point to close out this tournament. Round two. Point. Nice air to air. Ooh, nice from Punk. Gets the crush counter stay in our house. Okay, messed up the setup right there. Oh, he's trying to get through the through the maze of Cosmos. Oh, and he doesn't grab this time. Just goes for counter hit. Oh, nice overhead from Vagabond. Oh, and he could have actually ended it right there. No, that doesn't work. He just stopped it. And Ambu Punk is going to take episode two of PXG Online Championships. He is your champion. Big round of applause from Punk, showing consistency, falling short, and getting win. second place last week. Comes all the way back in week two and takes the tournament. He is the winner of episode two and gets the 100 dollars, the 100 doll hairs. And shout-outs to Punk for participating back-to-back. -back. 
showing showing the people that it's not a fluke. He wasn't in grand finals last week for no reason. And also shout out to it's BOTV so Vagabond, knocking him into losers bracket, bringing it down to the final game. But he just fell short. Hopefully he participates next week. And I appreciate everybody tuning in. Before I sign off, 